Hi everyone, Danny here with Not So Pro Mix. Um, I wanted to share a quick tip with you guys on um, how to record in stereo through Pro Tools. I have Pro Tools 12.7 uh, and um, through QuickTime on screen capture. Uh, I was looking around YouTube and I could not find anything on how to do this. And it drove me nuts because I couldn't figure it out. Every time I did, there was no audio coming out and I was like, what in the world's going on? <laughs> so what I did to give you a quick tutorial here, I went and I looked up Soundflower on Google and um, downloaded it right here. Just down, it's free download right here. After you download, you go ahead and install it. Once you install it, you come over here to your audio MIDI setup. And if you don't have it on your dock, it's right here in your launch pad. Um, for me, it was in my other and it was right here. From that, you open that up and you go to your Pro Tools aggregate. And for me, I have right here an Avid uh, Digi 002. So with my 002, I set that first. That was the first box I clicked. And then second, I did the Soundflower. Now with Soundflower, you can see up here, it has, um, for my Digi 002, it has um, 18 inputs and 18 outputs. And then 19 and 20 is Soundflower. And right here, you can see that I had put, I, or I put mic input for Soundflower and the output for Soundflower. Right here is my clock source. I put it for my 002. Next, after that, I um, went over to my sys my sound out of system preferences, and I went and I put it on output for my Soundflower, and also right here, input for Soundflower. And you can see right here that it's getting signal. And then from there, I went ahead and I came into Pro Tools. I was trying to do a stereo screen uh, recording and it was driving me nuts because I couldn't figure it out. So finally, I, I came over here. I went into Pro Tools uh, Playback Engine. I did a Pro Tools aggregate input output. And then after that, I went into the IO. As you see right here, all my inputs from my 002 all the way to 18. And then 19 and 18, I renamed or 19 and 20, I renamed them to Soundflower input output or excuse me, input. Over here in my output, I did my normal main outs on my 002 right here, and I renamed the ni uh, 19 and 20 in my Soundflower out, so that way I knew. That was the only thing I really changed in uh, Pro Tools to get this thing working. Right here, go to my mix window, and from here I made a track for my, um, for just so you guys can hear me, my, my vocal track or whatever you wanna call it. And from here I put in my input one, which was my actual 002 input and I put it to my trip my print track because that's where I, I normally print all my where I my, I monitor my my mixes and everything so from there I put it to my print track now on my print track what I did was I went ahead and I did um, you can see right here where I did dual output right here for my sound flower out and my line out now how I did that was I hit Soundflower out. Okay, well, let me back up. So Soundflower out right here on the Pro Tools main out. And then I went over to um, QuickTime and I did a new screen recording. And when you do a new screen recording, that little box pops up and right next to the little recording button, you get like a little arrow. You click on that and you set that to your Soundflower to channel. And from there, you should be able to, to record in stereo. But the thing was is that I couldn't hear myself when I did that. So it was driving me nuts. I'm like, man, I can't hear myself. I can't hear myself. So what I did was I set this main output. It was already on Soundflower. So what I did was I held control and I clicked on this as well. So it gave me two outputs. It gave me my Soundflower and my main out. So I can hear myself and I can hear the mix as well. So now I can hear not only myself, but I can hear the mix. And then when my screencast, when I re uh, replay it, I can hear myself and the mix in stereo. And so that's how I figured it, how to do it. And after you're done, you go back to listen to what you recorded your video you just come back to system preferences you change it to pro tools for me it's pro tools aggregate or my avid uh, 002 whichever one it doesn't matter because it's they're both the same and um so yeah that's it um pretty simple if you guys have any questions feel free to leave a comment um and hit me up and that way i can help you out if I can, and again, this is for Mac. I don't know about PC. Um, I'm pretty sure they, they might have a few for PC on YouTube, but I'm not sure. So um, here's a little sample. That way you guys know it's in stereo and um, you guys can hear it, so. So if you hear this, I have an acoustic guitar on the left. And then on my right, I have a mandolin. So you guys can hear that it's gonna 
So there you go. Screen recording in stereo in QuickTime Player. All right. Thank you guys. And I'll see you guys next time.